Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. As you can see in front of me, I have Marvel Legends. This is the Hand Ninja. Now the hand was first introduced or created by Frank Miller as part of the Daredevil series. And when I saw this figure coming out, I know this is a um, army building character, but when I first saw this figure, I knew that this is the one from the wave that I was gonna want. Now there is a build a figure that goes along with the set and it's stilt man and this guy comes with the stilts the legs so the more you buy the taller your stilt man can get take a look at that that's the build a figure these are the figures that come with this wave now i don't think i'm going to get any of the other ones i would like to build the stilt man but not at the cost of getting all of these figures now I know that this is a popular wave because this is the Into the Spider-Verse characters and I know they're pretty awesome, okay? But um, I got this figure for quite another reason. So here's the thing with this character. He is so universal the way he looks to me because of that. And as you know, I'm a G.I. Joe collector and having a ninja type character is going to be awesome because... Uh, I know that there's a Red Ninja coming out for the Black Series, but I was not interested in that uh, Red Ninja. But this guy looks awesome, and he might fit in with those figures quite nicely, even though he's Marvel Legends and is supposed to go those, those figures. So I'm going to do some, like, crossover in my display because I feel like this character is a little bit more universal. So let's open it up and take a closer look. Okay, so now that we got the Red Ninja out of the package, I just want to uh, go over something. He's got these two weapon pieces of weapons that come as uh, accessories, and look at the detailing on that. That looks really, really cool. Now, I'm really impressed with all the detailing in the handle and actually on the blade itself. It does look awesome, and if you look at this edge right here, it does look like it's sharp even though it's a piece of plastic. He does come with this sword, which is phenomenal. It's got this really great detailing in the handle, uh, like it was hand strewn and hand strapped. So that to me looks really, really cool. And then of course he comes with these two, these two hands, you know, posing up, like he's uh, maybe uh, getting ready to fight, right? Open hand. So let's take a closer look at the figure. Oh, and underneath with the stilts was this um, stand, which is actually kind of cool because I have the Shang-Chi figure. And even though his feet are really, really balanced and he actually stands really well when I got him posed like this in a um, fighting stance, he kind of has a tendency to want to fall over a little bit. But because this guy's got the nice wide feet and the pegs, I'll be able to pose him with this stand, and he's going to be able to stand up. So okay, so this is the figure, and he comes with this belt with the sheath for his sword, which is actually really kind of cool. It's got some really good detail right here on the buckle. And as you can see, he's got throwing stars embedded in there, which is really, really cool. Then he's got this... Uh, black belt which is tied and these pieces are like a nice soft rubber which give it some flex and movement which is really nice now this is a soft soft pliable rubber and it's split on the sides as to not hamper his ability to um, pose and here's the kicker folks this is not the pinless technology, which I was really glad to see because with that pinless technology, you're getting about a 90 degree, but look at that. I mean, that is fantastic. I mean, he's got the double jointed elbow, which gets his hand right up to his face. He's got that double jointed in the knee, which gives him way greater than the 90 degree um, flexibility. And he's got this extra arm piece right here that gives him that greater than 180 degree flex back. So for posing, this guy is going to be phenomenal. Let's just take a close look at that face in there. Now that looks awesome, right? Um, there is no color in that eye. I mean, the eye is colored, but there is no like actual eye in there. So 
it's actually really cool no um, color spot or whatever right so it looks really nice and it's got a really good face sculpt for wearing this like hood and I think this figure just looks cool and because of his flexibility and posability he's gonna be pretty awesome Okay, everybody, this is the Hand Ninja. He's part of the Marvel Legends once again. Have a great day, everyone.